Art. It is integral to human existence. It is found in every culture on this planet. It allows us to express our beliefs, values, and stories. While many people see art as just paintings and maybe songs, photographs, or sculptures, it can encompass so much more. Here I am at the Crystal Bridges Museum of Art. In this museum, you can see art, which represents a lot of the hope and adversity people overcome. In most of our stories of hope, communities have used art in some way or another to heal and represent the effects of the event. Art is often used by communities in times of disasters. It can be used to represent the hope and strength both communities and individuals display during these adversities. We see artists designing memorials to those fallen, showing the courage and resilience of the survivors, and detailing how the communities came together and overcame these tragic events. In the Philbrook and Crystal Bridges Museums of Art, we see art depicting wars, the civil rights movements, people's struggles with poverty, as well as the beauty of both people and our natural world. There was one particular painting at the Philbrook Museum of Art which caught my eye. It was called The Weeders. I see this painting as a message of hope. It shows the beauty and inspiration of everyday life on the American frontier, how hard it was, how strong these workers were. Art can also be used to bring people together. A great example of this is found in Oklahoma City. The Oklahoma City National Museum and Memorial. This is a beautiful site found in downtown Oklahoma City. The memorial, which is a beautiful work of art in itself, is accompanied by a museum which showcases how the community of Oklahoma rallied to overcome the tragic event of the Oklahoma City bombing. The strength of this community was truly astounding following this disaster. First responders coming from all over the U.S. remarked at how generous and kind everyone was. They said there was free food, clothing, spas, and even barber shops for them to use during their time off-site. This sense of community was even felt outside of the state. School children from across the country and even the world sent messages of hope to the people of Oklahoma. Architects from around the world submitted designs for the memorial, and people from all walks of life showed their support for the people of Oklahoma on the news and in their day-to-day -day lives. This display of community really shows how integral it is to building resilience after a disaster. Community. It is needed for resilience and hope. It is needed to foster meaningful change. Without it, we will just lose hope and be stuck surviving 